the ministry of the Holy Spirit is to remind us of what Jesus says. Mm -mm. He comes to teach and to remind us of what Jesus says while he was here on earth. And the ministry of the Holy Spirit is to speak to them while they try to forget. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir, we do. Oh, my we do. God. You're reading your Bible? Yes, sir. Believe me. Hallelujah. It happened to me. Yes. You're reading your Bible? And suddenly you need a member say, I was reading it. Yes. Uh, just keep going on. Oh, what did I read a while ago? Yes. But it's a keep on reading. Yes. Because when it's necessary, the Holy Spirit will bring it back to your remembrance. Yes. Don't stop reading. No. No. Oh, Jesus. Thank God. We need sermons like this, right? Yes, sir. What a life. Glory. What a life. Oh, God of heaven, help us. So the Holy Spirit wants us to trust and obey. Yes. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. Oh, gosh. Tell us more. Yes. So Jesus, said, Jesus Christ said, I'm going away. I'm going to pray the Father to send another one like me. Yes. He will come and rest with you. Yes. Bye. Jesus said, I came. To save you. And he will come. Yes. To train you. Yes. Come on somebody. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. I come and save you. Yes. But the Holy Spirit will come and train you. Yes. That is why we need. Yes. To open up to him. Yes. You can't live without the Holy Ghost. Yes. Come on somebody. Yes. You need the Holy Spirit. Yes. And he will live in you forever. To call on him. Reach out to him. Come on, somebody. Use your maximum faith. Yes. Just I got to go. Yes. But when the spirit of promise comes, yes. it will live in you forever. Yes, I got to go. Yes. But when he the spirit of truth yes. comes, he will teach you all things. Yes. What a life! What a, what a beautiful life. Yeah, yeah. What a glorious life. Yeah. What a awesome life. Yeah. What a sweet yeah. life. Yeah. 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 Sweetness fills my breath. Yeah. Yeah. All around me, yeah. the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. What a life. What a wonderful life. Yeah. God orchestrated God. through the plan of salvation yeah. for you and for me, yeah. His chosen children. Yeah. What a life. What a sweet sensation. Mm. In this wonderful glorified life. Listen, I just love this life. I wish I could have taken out my heart and show you how much I love this life. But listen, listen. We thought that everything was good. But we're in the world. And every one of us have something we love best. And think this is it. With me and Brother Tony, we love sound system. <laughs> and Godfather, <Yes. laughs> that's part light. Yes. When we play music, people dance. Mm -hmm. yes, what about the beer? So we now got the beer part. <laughs> We are talking about when we get music. Sometimes we can't do it to play the other one. Believe me. Oh, God. And we think that was it. How we wake up at 11 o'clock in the morning and start playing music, jerking down the entire building. Neighborhood. And think this was life. But one day I met Jesus. Since I met Jesus. A new life for me began. And I never the same to sister. Sister Marina Drew. Wonderful Jesus. What a life. I love this Christian life. Come on, somebody. Yes, mm. yes. Woo. First Peter. 
chapter 5 verse 10 but the God of all grace who has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that you have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen settle you the other day the other day I went and got heat some cheese with this bulla cake. No, I shouldn't go drink the milk with it. Oh. I missed some of the to play. Boom, 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 dum, 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 dum. My stomach began to play all kind of music. You could hear it from afar off. Brr, brr. And then you start to have a heartburn. But then we'll run and get me a Renata Dean. Right. And settle it. Yes. <laughs> God is your Renata Dean. Yes. Ah. He will settle everything yes. as a bother in you. Yes. Yes. Oh God of heaven, help us. Yes, I am calling on you to wait to the grace that God gives you. Yes. Stop sleeping. Yes. Stop procrastinating. Yes. Stop worrying. Yes. Stop allowing words. To distract you from the beautiful life of God in you. We allow words to take away our joy. We allow words to take away our peace and our love. And our Listen, stop allowing words. Especially if it's not in context. Keep in mind, God our Father has prepared a life for you and I. He wants you to have solid faith in Him. Pure faith. He wants you to take a stand against the adversary operations. Come on, somebody. I say He wants to take a stand against the adversary operations. He wants you to stay spiritually alert. Opposing the adversary in spiritual warfare. What a life! He got to give you this life for you to to, to function here in this. You couldn't function before, cause Satan have you wherever he wants you. And if you were a wild man or a wild woman, Satan have one somebody. Oh God. Oh, yeah. you Just pass on with the eyes at you. you hey. Walking and mincing, the Bible says. Yeah. Wing the eyes at you. Right. And you can't understand yourself. Because before you hear boom, boom, boom. Fifth gear. Somebody will laugh under them and they smile. But they need to burst out sometimes. <laughs> I'm telling you what I've been through. You know, I remember the week I got saved. I was coming on the express when I came off at 35th Street. And a lady drove right beside me and started to wink her eyes at me, push her tongue at me. I said, You should do it yesterday. You're too late. Christ, take over now. What a life. In this life, we are faced with the operation of Satan and the devil. We need to know that a believer's growth may be hindered or halted. But three things yes. that the enemy use against us. They are the devil, the world, and the flesh. All right now. All right. I'll tell you what. Tell you what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have one service today. 
because I must finish this. Yes, amen. <laughs> amen. If the church is full, I couldn't do that. <laughs> but I know majority of person people here are going to go home. So we're going to preach until it's time to go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> And he can lock the door. <laughs> Don't follow me. Redemption and wait, I mean. Um, mm. But you know, the, we are facing the devil, the world, and the flesh. No wonder God give us the Holy Spirit yes. and give us Jesus Christ yes. as a advocate That's right. as our lawyer yes. he said dad I know what it is yes. to be tempted by the flesh yes. I know what it is to be tempted by Satan yes. I know what is tempted by the world so Lord forgive him for I know not what he do Hallelujah. what a life Hallelujah. I, hope this, I hope this message is getting to you because yes. it, it got to me as I must share this with you. We are warned of how the devil roam around like a roaring lion. The devil, and you may want to know this, that the devil's ultimate agenda is to steal, kill, and destroy. That is the devil's agenda. How he did, Pastor? He does this thing when we bow to him. When we bow to circumstances. The devil does it when we when we bow to pressure. He does it when we bow to the evil. He designed for us. But since let us adapt. To Jesus is bow. That's right. Amen. Amen. Jesus is B-O-W. Yes, sir. Which is to believe, to obey, and to worship. All right Amen. now. Yes, sir. Come Amen. on, somebody. That's a B-O-W. Hey. Praise the Lord. Yes. Believe, obey, and worship. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. What a life. What a life. What a life. What a life. We must awake to the truth. And God grace, so we can live a life of Christ in godliness. Live a life in Christ of God's glory. We must awake to this grace, this wonderful grace that pardoned us. We must awake to the truth. Truth of God's grace. Because in this life, we are God's workmanship created to do good works. What a life. And I know some people believe, but the truth is, we need to see through God's eye. Yes, sir. See through God's revival. How he take us out of the miry clay oh, and pop us up into his, to his light. Yes. We need to understand God's kindness. Yes. And when you know God's kindness, Satan can't alter your. He can't alter God's kindness. We need to understand God's love. Yes. The soul of the world. I said we need to understand God's kindness yes. and His grace. Yes, the grace that is freely given to us all that Christ has accomplished yes. in His death and resurrection. Yes. It's from me. Yes. What a life. We need to understand that God's grace is God's love. Yes. Come on, somebody. God's grace is God's love. 
But you need to understand that it's impossible for Satan to defeat Jesus. Who already defeated him. It is impossible. You need to understand, praise the Lord, that God's grace is greater than your sin when you come to him. Because where sin is, grace stay longer. Where sin is abound, grace much more abound. God's law has given to us. Why? So that people could see how sinful you are and your work. That's why God, God's law is given so you can know your sins. <laughs> but as people sin more and more, God's wonderful grace become more abundant Amen. to forgive. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes. You can't beat this. In this life that God placed you into, where sin come up, grace stay right there. I say you're not going to overcome him. You're not going to overcome her. My grace is sufficient for you. I don't know if you understand about this life, but this life is great. I would never change it for nothing. You can have the whole world. But you give me Jesus. What a life. Oh God. 